This is Tampa Tech, and learn something new from PC, TVs, and gaming too. Let's get it started. All right, this is how to install any printer, basically uh, without using the software. So if you have Windows Vista and Windows 7, they're very similar to each other in some ways. So this is what you need to do. First things first is click on the start button on the bottom left. And then in the search bar right here, click on that and type in printers. Okay. And once you click on oh, printers, I'm sorry. And then right here, just click on devices and printers. All right, so I have my uh, icons right there for my printers. My uh, green that that basically shows you that's my default printer. So I, when I hit, when I hold down Control, when I hold down Control P to print. That would be my default printer to print. All right, so um, if you want to change that, right click it, and then once you right click it, this menu will come up, and then left click that. All right, so that's how you default that. Right click it, left click, default printer. Anyway, getting getting back to the point, this is what I'm going to show you. Uh, over here, where it says add a printer, all right, you want to click on that and it's going to basically install the software from the internet. You have to be on t the internet for it to, to, you know, do this. Another way you get to it, by the way, is a control panel, hardware, printers, you know, same way. Click on add a printer. All right, once you, this menu will come up. If it's connected through a USB printing cable, click on the USB way. Don't touch any of this, just hit next. And when you hit next, it'll come up with different you know, manufacturers. So if you have Lexmark, click on Lexmark. And the model number of your printer. All right, if your model number of your printer is not there, do a Windows update, okay? Now it should, uh, it should work. It's all in alphabetic order, by the way. And there's a huge list right here. And then after that, you hit next. Name your printer. You could you can name it whatever name you want. It could be Joe Schmo. All I care. Hit next, and then it'll start installing the printer. It's that easy. All right, and you can share it with other uh, computers on your uh, network. Basically, your network means your router, Netgear, D-Link, or Linksys, whatever the heck you got. Right, cancel that. All right, right-click that because I, I don't have that printer. I was just showing you. Remove. Yes. I don't want that. It's not even on. I don't have that printer. <clears throat> All right, now I'm gonna show you the wireless way. Click on. Oh, if you have any exclamation points right here, that means there's a problem. So to get rid of that, you right-click it, and then you could do troubleshoot. And it should, you know, you might have to click do that a couple times. And they'll find a solution and they'll do a, a quick fix on it. All right, but getting back to uh, my point, add a printer. I'm getting sidetracked, sorry. There's so much to know and so much to learn. <clears throat> Click on wireless printer. All right, so basically, it'll start searching your, uh, your network for a wireless printer. And hopefully I don't look stupid and I'll actually find it sometime today, eventually. So finally it found it. So once it, you find it, you want to click on it and highlight it. All right. And uh, hit next, basically. All right. And it'll pop up down here. And it'll say installing printer. That pop ups will come up over here. All right. And then where it says printer, faxes, and all that good stuff, it'll pop up over here to the right. All right. And it'll say device ready to use. Bam. Bingo. All right. And then right here, you can name it whatever name you want. It says that you're successful, and you can name it uh, Lex. 
All right, I named it Lex. <clears throat> okay, and then you hit next. You want to share this with other laptops? Yes or no? Maybe so. It doesn't matter. Hit next. Set as your default printer. Print test page. Okay. Close. Hit finish. All right. So we. That's how we did it. Let's go over here and find out if it's working. Golden. All right. Thanks for watching. Post a comment and subscribe to Tampa Tech. Peace out.